All right, let's say you've got some cool product photos or even some not so cool product photos. Hats, shoes, sunglasses, water bottles. I wanna show you how you can animate on those photos to take them to the next level, make them a little bit cooler. All we're gonna use is Procreate on the iPad. To set up our animation project, let's open up a new canvas, tap the plus button, just go with screen size for right now. We're gonna need the animation timeline at the bottom. So come up here, go to canvas and tap animation assist. Now let's set up the settings. We're gonna stick with loop. Let's drop the frames down to six frames per second because we're gonna keep the motion a little bit more GIF-like. It doesn't have to be super smooth. I only need like two or three onion skins for right now and the rest looks good. Because I'm gonna be showing you how to animate on product photos, we obviously need an image. So come up here, tap add and insert a photo. I've got some photos that I shot of my inline skates that I bought a couple days ago. And so let's drop in one of these. Go ahead and adjust the frame if you need to, but mine's pretty good as is. And last thing before we start animating, you just need to tap the frame down here and open up the frame options. And we're going to turn this frame into a background. That way, when you tap add frame here, all of these animation frames are going to be on top of the background image. And the background image will stay on screen throughout the entire animation. Now I wanna show you three different animation styles. The first one's gonna be pretty similar to something we've done before on this channel. And it's gonna be a little bit more of a a swoopy line that goes out of the boot, wraps around, and then comes in front. And this will all be in motion. The second animation style is gonna be a little bit more of a squiggly line animation that kind of highlights the product you're animating on. In this case, my rollerblades, but this could be for any product that you're animating. And the third animation style is also pretty similar to something we've done before but it's going to kind of cover the product almost like a liquid, almost like a paint. So it might look like something like that and it'll build as we keep animating. Let's start with the swoopy line. The brush you're using really doesn't matter, but I like animating with brushes with a little bit of a rough edge to it. That way it's a little more forgiving and I don't have to be that exact. I can animate a little faster. Let's add our first frame and just animate a little bit of this swoopy line coming out of the boot. Add another frame and you can see the onion skin of the previous frame. And we're just gonna connect that onion skin to a little bit of a longer swoopy line. Add another one and again, we're connecting it as if it's got a little bit of a tail. Add another frame. This next frame is actually gonna go behind the boot, but I'm going to animate right through it, like that, and then take the eraser and erase it afterwards. That way it looks like this frame is going behind the boot. Next frame now comes in front of the boot, so you don't need to erase any of this. And now this last frame basically goes off screen. And let's do one more so you can see the tail go off screen. Now let's play it and see how it looks. All right, pretty cool. And like I said, we're doing six frames per second. So it looks a little bit more like a GIF, a little more stuttery. If you want it to move faster and for all that movement to be a little more smooth, you can move it up to 12 frames per second. It's a lot more smooth, looks a little bit more lifelike, but it requires a lot more frames in order to slow down the animation. I'm gonna stick to six frames per second. And now that the swoopy animation has gone out of frame, I'm gonna have it come back into frame for a split second and electrify my rollerblades. Let's add one more frame and I'm gonna have the swoopy line start to come in on the side here. Another frame, a little further. And now this next frame, it's gonna start to electrify the boots. I'm gonna bring my brush size down a little bit and all I'm gonna do is start to highlight the outer edge of 
my rollerblades or whatever product you're using with a squiggly line. Just do a little bit to start though. Add another frame and we're going to go right back over those same lines but squiggle a little further. Just a little further. Add another frame. The exact same thing, we're gonna squiggle right back over it and it doesn't have to be exact. Each of these frames is going to be a little different and squiggle a little different. And once we play it back afterwards, it's gonna look a little bit like electricity. And this last one is gonna go all the way around. And now if I play it, you'll see what I mean. Now, if we want the electricity highlight around the roller blade to last a little longer, we just need to do the full highlight a few more frames. Now, let's just use our exact same frames to electrify both boots. Let's just go back a couple frames to where it's half electrified and we'll start scribbling around the second boot. Now remember, you don't need to add a frame. We'll just go to the next frame down here in the timeline. Tap the next frame and keep an eye on that first boot so that the timing of both boots electrifying feels natural. Tap the next frame. All right, I finished both boots, but I still need to animate one more frame here. And let's just do one more frame around both boots just to make sure that it looks right. Let's play and see how it looks. Pretty cool. Now to have it stop, we're not gonna just have the electricity stop abruptly. We're going to have the scribbles still stay on in some spots and start to dissipate in other spots. So just scribble around the edge a few times, add a frame, and in those same spots, which if you need to see and the onion skins are in the way, you can reduce it down to one onion skin. Scribble those same spots, but just a little bit less. And that way, it'll look like these scribbles, these electricity, whatever it is, is starting to dissipate. Until now, um, a few of these we're going to do drawings on and some of them we're going to leave empty and now a blank frame. And that looks pretty good. And for this final animation, we're gonna add a little bit of color. I'm gonna go with pink. And we're gonna do a liquid animation, pretty similar to something I've done on the channel before, but it, it might be a little easier this time. We're gonna add a frame, and all we're gonna do is start by covering the roller blade just a little bit. You can even drag in to fill. Add a frame. And now we're gonna go over that same patch and a little bit further, but this time make sure that the bottom looks like it's liquid. Add another frame. You might have to play around a little bit to make sure that it looks like liquid, but I usually do just a little bit of a subtle wave at the bottom of each drawing. Add a frame. Depending on the frames per second you have, you may have to watch the playback and see if you're covering too much of your product too fast. If you feel like it's going too fast, you can decrease the space between each of these drawings. And now we're almost to the end here. One more frame. And let's play it back and see how it looks. That's pretty cool. 
obviously we got to do both boots so let's just go back to the beginning of this animation and do the exact same thing kind of measuring the same distance on both boots um, for this boot that's in front so a little bit at the top you don't need to add a frame just go to the next frame and now I'll kind of mimic the distance here And now with both boots covered, I'm just gonna add a few more frames where the paint kind of disappears. So this time I'll kind of be working backwards, but removing the liquid on top. And we just got to make that a little bit smaller until it entirely dissipates. And now let's play it back. And that's it. That's all three animation styles all on one product image. Now, if you're happy with how your animation turned out and you want to export it into a video file or a GIF file, come up to the top here, go to share and you've got the share layers options down here at the bottom. There's animated GIF, which is pretty useful, and use animated MP4 for video. All right, and, and that's it. Now, please let me know down in the comments what kind of photos did you choose to animate for this tutorial? Did you have some product photos, water bottles, shoes, some roller blades? that you were able to animate for your social media posts or some animations for your business. Please, I'd love to know how these tutorials are helping you out. I really hope this was helpful. If it was, click the like button, subscribe for more videos like this, and I'll catch you in the next one.